Sheikzu Top 10 Facts The word Sheikzu means little lion, but this dog breed is far from fierce. This dog is more of a lover than a hunter. Sheikzus, who are bred primarily to be friends, are affectionate, cheerful, outgoing house dogs that enjoy nothing more than following their owners from room to room. They have made themselves at home on the laps of people from all walks of life, including emperors, since ancient times. Do you consider purchasing a Shesu? In this video, you will learn everything about the top 10 facts about Shesu, so you can find out if this dog is best for you. In the list of top 10 facts about Shesu, at number 10, we have one of the 14 oldest dog breeds. The Shesu has a long history that is shrouded in mystery and controversy. According to a new study, the Shesu is one of the 14 oldest dog breeds, and dog bones discovered in China indicate that dogs lived as early as 8000 BC. Some people believe the breed was created by Tibetan monks and given to the Chinese royalty as a gift. The Shesu is also thought to have been created in China by crossing other breeds with the Lhasa Apso or Pekingese. Regardless of where the Shesu originated, Tibet or China, it is apparent that the Shesu has always been a beloved companion. Next on the list at number 9, we have found in many old painting and writings. Small dogs similar to the Shesu are depicted in paintings, poetry and writings from China's Tang Dynasty. 618 to 907 AD From 990 to 994 AD, there are references to dogs in writings, drawings, and carvings. Marco Polo believed that Mongolian Emperor Kublai Khan kept small lion dogs with trained hunting lions in the 13th century, not as prey, but to keep the lions calm. Some speculate that these dogs were Shea Zeus. Next on the list at number 8, we have Lively Dog. Every dog breed serves a specific function. The Shang Tzu's original intent was to be a friend, and that is just what they want to be. They just want to be with you. As a result, do not expect them to search, guard, or retrieve anything that is not their style. Their primary trait is love, and your lap is the chosen destination. When they are with their mates, giving and receiving love, they're at their happiest. Shei Zhu, on the other hand, isn't a complete couch potato. They are alert and lively, and visitors to their homes can be greeted with a bark. Do not worry, they will make friends with your visitors the moment they step through the door. Next on the list at number 7, we have Highly Attractive Personality. The Shei Zhu seem snobbish, with their flowing fur covering the ground and their top knot elegantly tied. They are only fit for sitting around a palace on silk pillows. However, nothing could be further from the facts. Shesus are not only attractive, but they are also engaging, energetic, and loyal companions. The Shesu personality is highly attractive, and even skeptics find it difficult to avoid this breed. Next on the list at number 6, we have Known for Making Friends. The Shesu is a breed that refuses to be ignored. They were bred to be a friendly companion, not to hunt, herd, or guard, and they are just that. Nothing makes them happier than greeting friends and strangers alike. A Shesu is known for making friends everywhere they go. The Shesu is often referred to as the chrysanthemum dog because of the way the fur on their faces grows out in all directions. They resemble a flower with a nose in the center. The Shesu's undershot bite is a distinguishing attribute. When the mouth is closed, their lower jaw is slightly broader than the upper jaw and the upper teeth bite inside the lower teeth rather than outside. Next on the list at number 5, we have Need Early Training. Despite their natural docility and friendliness, Shesus need early socialization and training. If they aren't properly socialized as puppies, they may become fearful, just like any dog. Early socialization ensures that your Shesu puppy evolves into a well-balanced adult dog. Shesus have a reputation for being difficult to housebreak. The most important thing is to keep your puppy from having accidents inside. You don't want them to get into the habit of walking on the carpet. Some Shesu owners teach their dogs to use a doggy litter box, so they do not have to walk them in the rain or hurry home to take them out. A Shesu puppy should be closely monitored within the house until it is fully grown. Crate training is beneficial for house training and offers a relaxing environment for your dog. When you board your Shesu or fly, a crate comes in handy. Next on the list at number 4, we have Needs Time Investment. The nails of the Shesu should be trimmed once a month and the ears should be examined once a week for dirt, redness, or a bad odor that may suggest an infection. To stop problems, wipe them out once a week with a cotton ball dampened with a gentle pH-balanced ear cleaner. Hair develops within the Shesu's ear canal and if the dog has a lot of ear infections, it will need to be plucked. 
The face of the Shezu, like that of a toddler, needs constant attention. They get dirty after eating and their eyes tear up easily, so wash their faces with a soft cloth dampened with warm water on a regular basis. Many small breeds, like the Shezu, are susceptible to dental problems, so it's important to keep their teeth in good shape. Brushing their teeth with a soft toothbrush and doggy toothpaste on a regular basis will keep their gums and teeth safe. Next on the list at number 3, we have Excellent Family Friend The Shezu makes an excellent family friend. They get along with other dogs and wildlife, and their cool nature makes them a good kid's companion. However, when playing with a Shezu puppy, children should sit on the floor to avoid lifting and losing the puppy. Children should also learn to keep their fingers away from the Shezu's large, easily damaged eyes. Next on the list at number 2, we have Susceptible to Certain Illnesses Shezus are usually healthy, although they, like all dog breeds, are susceptible to certain illnesses and diseases. For instance, in dogs, allergies are a common ailment. Food allergies are treated by removing certain foods from the dog's diet. Touch allergies are caused by a reaction to a topical material such as bedding, flea powders, dog shampoos, or other chemicals. And inhalant allergies are caused by allergens in the air such as pollen, dust, or mildew. Dietary limitations, treatments, and environmental adjustments can all be made to treat the condition. Juvenile renal dysplasia JRD, is a kidney genetic disorder that affects young dogs. The dog is very thirsty and often urates. They lose weight, vomit, and have a lack of energy. There is currently only one conclusive test for the disease that can be conducted on breeding dogs – a wide wedge kidney biopsy, which is very invasive and dangerous. Finally, on the list at number 1, we have less costly than many other dog breeds. There are several costs to remember when purchasing a Shezu puppy. Many people concentrate on the price of the puppy, which is important, but there are other, some major ongoing costs that we will go through in this article. The cost of a Shezu puppy varies depending on where you live and which breeder you want, but in the United States, prospective owners should expect to pay between $500 and $1,000 on average. The price may often be even higher, but this is uncommon. Did you like this video? If so, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you do not miss more videos and learn more about dogs every day. And if you are interested in dog brain training and training methods, you should also check out the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.